So we just heard there that families want criminal charges to be filed against those responsible for the failures at Robb Elementary. But the person who would make that decision, as you just heard there, is Uvalde County District Attorney Christina Mitchell. The night team's Patty Santos spoke with a criminal law expert to get some insight on how this case could move forward from here. This is probably the most extensive piece that we have about all of the failures that happened that day. What else does she possibly need to prosecute or to remove these people from their positions of power? A criminal law attorney Brent de la Paz says the Department of Justice investigation may just be what Uvalde County District Attorney Christina Mitchell has waited for. He believes the case could go to a grand jury in days. So grand jury um, meetings are secret. So yes, they could very well be meeting, you know, as early as possible to go over these things and to present this. He says reports by the DOJ, the Texas Department of Public Safety and other independent investigations could all carry weight in any case. Look for consistencies in things that everybody has seen the same thing, the same one, two or three things that at least carries weight going forward and moving forward with the charges. The La Paz didn't want to speculate on what type of charges could be brought, but says misdemeanor and felony charges are options. There's a two-year deadline to file civil and some misdemeanor charges, but he explains there's more time for some felony charges. Good morning. The U.S. Attorney General's visit could be a sign at how serious potential charges could be. And any guesses on who might be charged? I mean, there are some people that are named and some people that are not. I think it's been pretty clear um, who some of the targets are, whether or not they will actually be charged. It, that's, a, that's a local decision. He understands why criminal charges would bring solace to families and the community, but he cautions a true resolution in the courts could take years. It could be a long waiting process before because of the statutes. Patty Santos, KSAT 12 News. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSAT.